How's it going, everybody? I'm just going to give you a quick garage tour so you can see what I'm working with. Just an everyday garage at somebody's house. My house. It's uh, pretty simple. There's uh, nothing really special in here. No sheet metal brakes, no shears. Just your basic hand tools. Uh, most of my steel cutting I do with a grinder. I don't even have a chop saw in here. Um, I do have a MIG welder, obviously. Um, a lot of people like the uh, speed holes, I'm going to call them. Dimple dyed holes that I did in the ground kit for the Camaro. So I'm going to show you how I did it. Basically, I took two pieces of pine, clamped them together, and drilled a two inch hole. I only went through the top piece. The arbor obviously went down into the second piece to keep the center hole. I then drilled a two and three eighths hole all the way through to the other side. I then fitted the metal on the car, measured, put my center lines in, took the arbor, drilled out the center line, and then lined that up with the arbor hole here and clamped the steel down between these two boards. This is nice because it keeps it from spinning when you then take the hole saw and drill your two inch hole. I then moved the steel over to the two and three eighths hole, centered it up as best as I could. After I centered it up, I took the two and three eighths hole saw, flipped it upside down, put it back in the hole on the steel, took a piece of pipe with my hammer and worked around the outside edge of it, which formed that dimple. Uh, if you don't have the board clamped tight, the steel will actually want to slide in there and it'll only dimple one side of the hole. So you gotta make sure you got it clamped good and tight. Obviously I had this happen, I lost what I know. What I did to fix the issue was take the steel out, put it on the top here, and actually took my ball peen with the round end here, worked around the outside of it. Nice and easy, you don't want to go too hard and get, out of, get it all out of whack. Just worked around it nice and easy, even the dimple out. If you didn't want to use two pieces of pine, you could do the whole dimple this way if you wanted to. You just got to have some finesse. Work your way around the outside, work that edge down in there. Nice, fine dimple. Simple, cheap. If you're trying to do a budget build, you can still build cool stuff. Just gotta be creative. I mean, looks pretty good, I think. Not bad, right? So anyways, happy building, keep it creative.